This is Autoclore's new adjustable dispensing tip. This tip will work with all Autoclore model D4 dispensers and other compatible Venturis. This new adjustable metering needle valve replaces the typical colored fixed rate metering tips and it allows for precise control of the dilution rate for Venturi dispensed products. A single needle valve can accommodate a wide range of products, conditions, and dilution rates. The design allows for the technician to quickly adjust the dilution rates by simply turning a needle valve. This design eliminates the need to remove chemical supply lines to adjust dosages and it eliminates the need to maintain a stock of various metering tips. In the past, proper chemical dosing has been a matter of trial and error. A single metering tip can yield dramatically different dosing rates given the varying conditions such as product viscosities, container configurations, product container location, different chemical supply lines, water temperature, not to mention the significant manufacturing variances inherent with fixed metering tips themselves. Customer satisfaction can only be achieved with consistent quality and reliable performance. Confidence in the performance and the use cost of our chemical products can only be achieved if we are able to reliably dose the products in an accurate manner that is appropriate for each customer's use. A single needle valve configuration cannot handle all dispensed products. The standard needle valve is capable of dispensing the full range of water-thin products, but thick products such as hand dishwashing products such as Pot and Pan, Pot and Pan Supreme, Ultra Pot and Pan Supreme, and similar products require a needle valve with greater clearances. The technician can either utilize a special needle valve or modify the standard needle valve to accommodate thick products. The extra steps necessary when dispensing thick products will be covered later. Up, we get our product, making sure that our bottles have enough slack in the line so that we can set them on the scale. We'll go ahead and remove the covers from the dispensers. They stick. There we go. All right. Okay, on the proportioners, we will go ahead and start with the screw turned all the way in. will be turned all the way in until they bottom out. Now we'll go ahead and calculate our beginning settings using the application. All right, this is a process for a water thin type product. Uh, in this case here, you would have a, you would have a gray needle in here. Um, we have the product configured. We we'll make sure we have enough slack in the line so that our product can reach the scale. Set this here. Now we will go ahead and look at. We would, uh, based on the product, you use a dosing calculator. All right, Solution QA Ultra is this product. We'll select Solution QA Ultra from the menu. That gives us a recommended dosing range of 0.25 to 0.5. Okay, we're going to go ahead and select and plug in. Our dosing range is going to be 0.3. Okay, we're going to be using a 4 gallon per minute auto gap. Venturi and we'll have a standard gray needle because it's a water thin type product. Our starting setting would be 3.4 turns. So what we would do 
is we would adjust the needle until it's all the way down and turn it out 3.4 turns or three and a half three and a half it's about three and a half turns right there okay now from now we would go ahead and take our measurements we start out with our empty container we record that weight which will be in this case here uh, 242 grams. Go ahead and set this to where we can catch our product. Now we set our product on the scale to measure the initial weight. And the initial weight in this case is 2016 grams. And you would plug that in. We would dispense about half a gallon of product, diluted product. Okay. And then record our final weight for our product, which in this case is 2,004 grams. Weigh our our final diluted product weight and enter that in the calculator. That final diluted product weight is 2,431. Okay, that gives us a, a dilution rate of 0.73 ounces per gallon, which is above our desired range of uh, 0.2 to point. 0.25 to 0.5 and it also gives us a recommended adjustment of negative 0.8 in that case there the negative refers to closing the needle valve we're going to go ahead and close it three quarters of a turn and then we'll go ahead and take another sample Okay, our starting empty container weight in this case is now 243 grams. Our, now our starting product weight is 2,006 grams. Okay. We'll go ahead and dispense about half a gallon of product. Then okay. take our final product weight. And in this case here, our final product weight is 2,001 grams. Final diluted product. And our final diluted product weight is 2,400 grams. And that gives us a dilution ratio or a dosing rate of 0.31 ounces per gallon, which is pretty close to our desired target of 0.3 ounces per gallon. For products that are dosed to a certain concentration level, such as DC33, QA, or chlorine, the recommended dosing levels should give the correct concentration levels. However, the technician should check the final concentration with test strips and make any adjustments as necessary. When dispensing thick products, such as Pot and Pan Supreme, the needle valve needs more clearance to accommodate the higher viscosity products. The technician can utilize a special thick product needle or modify the standard needle to accommodate the thicker products. 
To modify, use diagonal cutters or sharp knife and remove an eighth of an inch from the end of the standard needle. So, our product is going to be uh, Ultra Pot and Pan Supreme. We'll select that from our list right here. That gives us a recommended dosing rate of 0.25 to 0.5 ounces per gallon. We're going to select a dosing rate of 0.3. Our Venturi is going to be a 4 gallon per minute air gap. You would select that from right here. And since it's a pot and pan, a thick pot and pan product, we would go to a thick blue type of needle. That gives us a starting setting for our Venturi of 6.8 turns. So what we will do is we will open up the needle valve 6.8 turns. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll take our measurements. First thing we'll check is we'll check the empty weight of our container. In this case here, the empty weight is 242 grams. Set our container up to where we can catch the product. Let's take our starting weight of our product. And in this case here, the starting product weight is 2,644 grams. We'll go ahead and measure out about half a gallon's worth of diluted product. And we will take our, get our measurement of our final product weight, which in this case is going to be 2,634 grams. take our final product or diluted product weight. In this case it's going to be 2,328 grams. Now when we plug these values into the calculator we end up with a diluted dosing rate of 1.3 ounces per gallon. That's above our desired rate, so we look at the, the adjustment recommendation and it tells us to reduce it by one term. So we make our adjustment, we'll make our adjustment here, turn it back in. And we'll go ahead and measure again. So in this case here, our starting weight is 276 grams. For our empty container. And our product starting weight will be 2,608 grams. Again, we'll dispense about half a gallon of product. Record our final product weight, which is in this case 2,603 grams. And we will measure our final diluted product weight. This one is 2,474 grams. And that gives us a dosing rate of 0.3 ounces per gallon, which is right on target for our in our recommended range.